As you look around this country, you can't deny the beauty and the riches of our natural resources. And perhaps our most prized gems are our wildlife and the places they call home. But it wasn't always like this. In the late 1800s and early 1900s, wildlife populations were alarmingly low. Wildlife habitats were being destroyed for progress. And as a result, wildlife populations plummeted. These were the dark days in our country's conservation history. Then the year 1937 came along. A senator from Nevada and a congressman from Virginia secured permanent dedicated funding called the Pittman-Robertson Act. This act put a small tax on firearms, ammunition, and other items that generated money strictly for the management of wildlife projects. What they may or may not have known is that this act would be the biggest conservation success story the world has ever seen. What the Pittman-Robertson Act has since done for wildlife is indescribable. The revenue raised for wildlife management because of this tax has generated over $15 billion since its inception 85 years ago. Wildlife populations such as Canada geese, pronghorn antelope, white-tailed deer, wood ducks, and so much more are thriving and healthy again because of those dollars. But now, this North American model of conservation is under attack. There is a bill in Washington that is looking to repeal the Pittman-Robertson Act and all that it has accomplished. This bill, though well-intentioned, will use alternate funding sources that are too dependent on the agendas and policies of politicians. In other words, the dollars are not earmarked specifically for conservation and more importantly, this bill doesn't protect wildlife conservation funding. The bill, named the Return Our Constitutional Rights Act, will have damaging consequences. Pittman-Robertson dollars support the budgets of over 70% of state wildlife agencies in this country, and removing that funding will have a detrimental effect on the management of wildlife that we love. Pittman-Robertson is not and never will be an attack on your Second Amendment rights. For 85 years, sportsmen have willingly taxed themselves to pay for conservation. The future of wildlife should never be political. Consumers and non-consumers alike should be united to ensure that wildlife will be here for future generations to enjoy. We have come too far to turn our backs on wildlife conservation in this country. We have done the unthinkable and we have so much more work to be done. Please. Contact your U.S. representative and tell them to reject House Bill 8167 and to make sure that they protect the Pittman-Robertson Act so the most successful source of funding in the world never has to go through this again.